Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but really a variety of other categories as well, including books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day, whenever I announce giveaways, and of course, whenever I go live. As always, if you are already subscribed, thanks again so much for being here and welcome back. Just a quick reminder, we do still have the Be Relaxed Spring Box giveaway going on. Make sure you watch that unboxing video to find out how to enter and win. And now you might find a secret password in any of those videos throughout the month. And when you do, you want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form, always linked in the description box below. Today though, one of my favorite quarterly subscriptions. It always makes me smile. It is so funky cool. It is Desk Stash. And in case you couldn't already tell by the name, it is a box of stuff for your desk to make it cool. So some stationary items, a lot of desk accessories, a lot of really cool design items, always very quirky, always very usable, sometimes kind of a retro vibe. This box is $45 per quarter plus shipping. I believe the shipping to me in California is just over $10. I do have an affiliate link and code for you. It is Noel15. That will save you 15%. As always, all of those discount codes are in the description box below, which you can just usually expand by clicking on more or the little arrow, depending on what device you're watching on. So this was sent to me for review by the awesome Dan. It says contents, colorful, cool, very, very useful workspace, happiness. So true. So it's also a really good unisex box. It's not super girly and floral. Like I said, lots of really beautiful sort of design elements uh, in terms of things that you would find in a museum design shop, which you guys know I'm super into, like a really modern feel to it. So quarterly subscription box for fans of unique office and desk supplies. So you do get a nice discount if you go for the annual subscription, always a good, a good option and it's just really cool. So let's see, this is the Simply Irresistible Edition, which of course, if you're of a certain age, that song goes immediately through your mind, which apparently was the point when they posted that on Instagram. So the total retail value, they don't give us the individual retail values of the items is $67. So really good savings. Again, it's not like one of those huge subscription boxes where you're gonna get like $300 worth of value, but I think that's pretty good on a box that's 45. And again, they find us really unique, cool items that you're not gonna get in every other lifestyle box or even stationary box. So I'm gonna post this up here in front of me so that I can read you the fun descriptions that sometimes make me laugh a little bit. Um, and then this is what the box looks like now that I removed those cards. I see something very bright and yellow and then they're really fun shred that's like perfect for Easter baskets. So let me just get that out of the way. We got a lot of boxes to open up and I do have my handy dandy exacto knife from a past uh, desk stash to hopefully help us out. So the first thing I see is envelopes or briefumschlage. Um, forgive my pronunciation, by My Pretty Circus. These are so pretty, they got little paper, paper airplanes on them. So, paper airplane envelopes. Lucky you, you're holding a packet of eight vibrant yellow Briefumschlage covered with images of nifty little paper airplanes. These bright German-made envelopes are so bold and eye-catching, even a message of condolence will carry a note of good cheer. No flap licking required. Well, you gotta love that. Oh, what are these? So these look like little stickers. I guess they're little stickers maybe for the return address or so that you don't actually have to write directly onto the envelope. So very bold and bright. It does like, oh yeah, so I think you just peel that off so that you don't, yeah, it's a peel off sticker so that you don't have to lick anything. You get a paper cut on your tongue, super cool. And then we do have these little like labels that you can affix. So again, that's gonna look very cool and modern. You could write directly onto the paper or you can do affix one of these little stickers on there. So I think that is super duper fun. I like that because sometimes I get postcards, um, which I actually wanna put into envelopes to make them a little bit more official. So that's kind of nice. Or if I wanna include like a little gift in there, so what else is this oh this is this is the, taking up a lot of space and it has a little shrink wrap so it says it's a beach break so it looks like we got like kind of a variation of a zen garden which these are always fun uh, this is also definitely a box that not only makes you smile but it is as many desk accessories the best ones are it can be a nice procrastination technique I mean focusing technique I mean self-care but really procrastination uh, so let's see what this is this is the executive mini sandbox because that's what we all need is a sandbox experiencing zoom fatigue bring some off-camera tranquility to your desk yeah probably don't let them know that you're playing with this 
Think calming thoughts as you rake the white sand and arrange the seashells. Feel your work-related tension. Leave your body. Warning, if you're working from home, don't let the kitty near this thing. So this is what this looks like, you guys. There's a little like beach chair, like a little Adirondack chair and a pail. I wonder if those are actually included in there. So let me see. So it just kind of like lifted off. And then this is our actual sandbox on the bottom. So it's just this little plastic tray. And then yes, indeed, we've got some sand, which I am not going to open up right now because that seems disastrous and then we've got all of our fun things to play with so yes there's a little sand pail there are some shells there's a little rake so you can do those little zen garden lines and i love the little beach chair that is super duper cute so i'm just trying to see if there's a like neat way for me to open this the um the umbrella is making a break for it so maybe i'll just open it up over there and the umbrella has poked through the side so let's see if i can get into it that way I always try to be like very neat when I open these things up and then it just doesn't work out. So let me go ahead and just go crazy with my scissors. Oh, I lost my rake on the floor, but I think it'll be all right. I really wanted to just show you guys the other things so you can see the chair is the part that I think is really cool. So here's our little umbrella. So of course you could always use your little cocktail umbrella too. You know, you can definitely add to your accessories, but how freaking cute is this? Let me see if I can get this open. It's a little bit like a Barbie dream house, but not really. So let's see if I can get this to open. So it's not really opening up for me quite yet. Maybe I'll uh, play around with it a little bit more. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> so definitely a little beach boho vibe. We here have our little um, our little sand pail. There's uh, some little shells, like I said. So I've got lots of shells from different beach boxes. But really, you guys, I just wanted to get into this uh, into this little um, Adirondack chair or beach chair so that you could have your little like Corona commercial vibes going on. I bet you could play around with that and tell people that you're out of office and then just post a little up close picture of this beach chair. Look at how cute that is, you guys. I love like little miniature things. They're all just little like plastic pieces, but super duper fun to play around with that and arrange it. And yes, maybe even share it with people on your Zoom call so that you can convince them that you're actually on vacation. Put a little like nice Zoom background on there. All right, well, let's see what else we've got. We have a triadic pen, which I don't know what that means exactly, but look how sleek the uh, packaging is. So this is what I'm talking about when I say I feel like it's from like a museum design shop. So this is the triadic ballpoint pen. It says from the MoMA store in New York, that's what I'm talking about, comes this way cool triadic ballpoint pen inspired by Piet Mondrian. The uh, simple brilliance of this sturdy implement will add some class to your workspace. Let me see if I can get it open. I, my packaging is torn. It says it's Spanish design will summon your inner Francisco Suarez as you scribble your deep thoughts. Oh, the package got torn. Bummer. Um, I guess I just have to keep it for myself because I do like to share a lot, but a lot of the times I use all the stuff in my desk stash boxes. So um, I'm trying to get the pen out. Here we go. Ooh, this is cool. Very, very sleek. Now you guys know I'm not like a huge ballpoint pen fan, but I love the primary colors here. It does have this like little rubberized clicker, which is kind of fun. Very, very satisfying somehow. And then it just is like that. So I guess the triadic part is just the fact that it's in three colors. This is really nice though. The little clip on it, that little ball and simple wire. So again, appeals to me aesthetically. Um, I'll probably keep it on my desk. We have, <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Other pencil cases are junk. <laughs> How do you really feel about it? So let's see what this is. This is the zero waste pencil tin. This aluminum tin has an attractive vintage vibe. See, I told you, vintage vibes here. It says it's a spiffy addition to your briefcase or backpack and a fine place to keep that new triadic pen that you just got. Super simple, great color blue. It says it'll hold three fancy pens or six pencils or four ounces of peanuts or some apocalypse cash made of 100% recyclable materials. So super duper simple. You guys know I love that super um, sleek. And yes, the pen looks very nice in it. Very like grown up pencil case. So I think that's funny. I almost like want to keep it though in, in this. I almost wish it says... Uh, it says plastic is pollution along the sides, but it would be fun if it said other pencil cases are junk like right on it, even though I'm not usually a fan of text on things. So it does say it's uh, got a wool liner. So I guess this is wool. So it's recyclable, which is cool. We've got like seven items this time around. This is a lot. This is a tape measure, a 10 foot double sided tape measure filled with fun facts. 
All right, I'll like a tape measure filled with fun facts. Let's read this. 10 feet of 60 low utility facts from the scientific to the goofy. That's, they admit it, low utility facts. This retractable device is imprinted with amusing ephemera. If you've ever questioned about the length of a lightsaber or the height of the world's smallest cat, well, now you'll know. Imperial and metric, because yeah, who uses metric? Oh, everybody, everybody else but us. So this is what it looks like. So it's almost like a cloth uh, tape, to not cloth, I guess. It sticks and then I guess you, yep. Ooh, that's so satisfying, is it not? I love having a good tape measure. It's like the classic yellow. So yes, let's see what it says. The world's smallest cat was Tinker Toy, who uh, lived from 1990 to 1997 and was, uh, two inches tall, four inches tall. I'm not sure. Um, one buck is six point almost two inches wide. So I have, they like point to the measurement and it's not quite clear to me. So let's see if we can get it on the other side. A flea jump is equivalent to 50 meters human high jump, like comparatively. So they can jump up to eight. Wow. Up to 18 millimeters I can't tell which like what what measurement they're pointing to but still fun um, and probably like nice and distracting because honestly you guys one of my least favorite things to do is hang pictures and my husband loves to get things framed and we like to decorate and we have very little wall space but it is like my least favorite thing it's very satisfying once the picture is up but we get like super into it like lining things up and figuring out how far it's gonna like hang from you know the actual hook and um, he knows that I get in a really bad mood when it's picture hanging time, so maybe this will keep me in a better mood. <laughs> okay. A couple more items to go with more shrink wrap for me to uh, slowly and carefully remove. Let me see if I can get this off. So this says, this looks very like architectural. It says uh, record cards. It had it in like multiple um, languages and English was not the first one. So it says 75 by 125 or five by five exact exacompta. I don't know what this is, you guys. I don't know what this is. Hold on, what is this? This is heavyweight index cards. All right, so let me see if I can get this to open up. So it just slid off. I actually like index, ooh. <laughs> I'm so easily amused. They're index cards with graph paper on them with grids. So nice, pleasing, springy colors. But we got quite a few of each of them. So I'm guessing there's 100, so probably 25 of each. Yeah. So it says, have you been seeking French index cards in four distinctive colors? Voila. Uh, these three by five cards are printed with a subtle grid. Arrange your thoughts vertically or horizontally. It's nice to have lines going in both directions. So you could have your note cards go this way if you want to. It says the box contains 100 cards handy for writing stern admonishments to your temp workers and your subordinates. Like you can issue a index card to them instead of a yellow card. I guess you could even issue a yellow index card to them. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Finally, we have rubber bands. All right, style is always on the agenda. This is by Brights. It says color-coded rubber bands. So I used to love having like a rubber band ball in all the different colors. Is that weird? Ooh, look at all the different sizes, you guys. I am so easily amused by this box. We got bright pink is a nice big fat rubber band. We got bright purple, skinny little yellow ones, a medium sized green one, skinny red ones, and skinny blue ones. But like the skinny ones come in different like diameters. So good for all different things. They're not like, even the pink ones are not super duper fat. So it says, do people still circulate inter office envelopes? We've no idea. But if so, you can color code them with this array of rubber bands. Six colors means six sizes too. Love that. It says, some brilliant hues in these high quality unbreakable bands and guaranteed break one will send a replacement. That's pretty funny. Uh, so don't use them to like snap or attack your office mates or your housemates if you're working from home, but I know that that will probably happen eventually. But these are always great. And like sometimes I just use them as like super low key um, cord keepers because sometimes I run out of the cord keepers because I have so many cords running around. So these are fun. Um, I probably won't use them that much. I don't find much use for rubber bands these days. Um, and I feel like I get them so often just on other packages. And I do have like a rubber band drawer with my thumbtacks and my binder clips and all those things, but these are way more fun. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll get crafty and make a rubber band ball, just like Pee Wee Herman. Cause that was super fun. <laughs> all right, you guys, let's go over everything that we got in this box. So, um, I don't know that I'll use that beach box. 
I love these paper airplane envelopes, actually. I think they're super duper awesome. Um, I think it'd be really cute to actually send a paper airplane inside of one of them and be like very like meta. Uh, we got our heavyweight index cards in four lovely colors with nice faint grids on them. We got our triadic ballpoint pen, which I think I've already lost. Nope, I did not. I put it in this very cool um, pencil case, zero waste pencil tin, nice, beautiful blue color. We got our executive mini sandbox. Now this is the item I don't know that I'm going to use because I have very little desk space, but I think it could make a really fun gift for someone. Um, and then we got our 10 feet of fax measuring tape, which I just guess I need to learn how to read a measuring tape because I don't know what the different things are pointing to. Let's see. Uh, Meerkat tail is nine and three quarter inches. That one I read. Cool. Um, this might be my favorite item actually. And then finally we got that, um, package of different colored rubber bands in different sizes. So yes, this is the most uh, satisfying to me because it does that. I love the triadic pen, even though I don't use ballpoint pens a lot. I have a lot of pencil cases, even though I think that one is very sleek and might replace some of the ones I already have. Always good to have index cards. Um, and then I do like to punch a hole in them and put them on a ring sometimes if I am actually using them as flash cards. And I love the envelope. So you guys let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was in this simpery, simpery, simply irresistible edition. I think I love the envelopes and the measuring tape the best. You guys let me know what you love the best. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. It would help me out and I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.